Hi, I'm Anthony Bryan, Product Evangelist with Jscape. In this video, we're going to talk about public key authentication in SFTP SSH. Public key authentication allows a higher degree of security than just requiring a password for your users. We're going to show how to generate a key and associate it with the user account. This is Jscape MFT Server Manager. And we're going to go to File key manager, and then the client keys tab. Then click generate to generate a new key. Type an alias like the username. You can choose between RSA and DSA and lengths of 1024 or 2048. So I'm just going to fill out some example information for this user. We're going to unselect certificate file and just put in a private key file of PEM type and then click OK. So, as you can see, we've got a JSmith and a demo key. So, now we're going to associate the key with the user. So, we'll go to the users node, the demo user, and edit them. And under the client keys section, you can see the two keys will associate demo with this user. So select it and then click OK. And now you're going to go to the services node and select SFTP and edit. And as you can see, right now the authentication is just set to password, but there are the three other options with public key public key or password, and public key and password. We'll just set it to public key, apply, and then restart. All right, now your server is ready. Now the last thing for you to do to be able to authenticate is to go into your SFTP SSH client and use the private key that you exported in the PEM file earlier. Once you do that, you'll be able to log in with the enhanced security that public key authentication offers. There's another really powerful feature that lets users manage their own keys so administrators don't have to get involved. This is through the web interface. And if you log in and then go to my account, you can generate keys. There you download the private key. You can also import public keys. And then you can also delete keys, all from the web interface. Here we are in Jscape's Any Client. And we're going to add an SFTP site in the Site Manager. So I'm filling out the host and username information and selecting SFTP slash SSH. And then I'm going to unselect password authentication and select public key authentication and then select the private key file and save it. So then I'll connect, accept and save, and you're connected. It's as simple as that. In this video, we talked about public key authentication and SFTP SSH. For more information on Jscape MFT server, please visit jscape.com.